The official release of Android 8.1 dropped earlier this week. If you're using a Pixel 2 or a Pixel 2 XL, you won't see a ton of changes, but if you're on a first generation Pixel or Pixel XL, then this is a substantial update for you. Hi everyone, I'm Jerome Ortega with Android Police and this is Android 8.1. Oreo. Official. Officially Oreo. Yeah. Oreo. More than a cookie. Yeah, let's go with that one. Here's what to expect when updating from Android 8.0 to 8.1 on a Pixel or Pixel XL. A new boot animation. A new font on the lock screen and various other places in the OS. The search bar has been relocated from the top down, just above the navigation bar. Translucency within your quick settings and app drawer meaning you'll be able to lightly see your home screen or whatever app you have open from behind. Selecting a dark wallpaper enables a dark theme. Navigation bar icons that dim. Android solution to alleviate possible burn-in or image retention. A live clock icon that coordinates with the current time. A brightness percentage in your display settings. The menu to power off or restart your phone has been trimmed down and moves closer to your power slash lock button. Powering off and restarting your phone shows off new animations. Now while all of these features have been readily available on both the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL with Android 8.0, here's what you can expect when updating to 8.1 with these second generation devices. Most of these should apply to the first gen Pixels as well, unless otherwise noted. A white nav bar in certain apps like Settings, Gmail, and Maps a dedicated gestures category in system settings, a battery indicator next to the Bluetooth icon in quick settings to let you know how much juice is left on your connected device. The Netflix app gets picture in picture, improved audio when recording video on the Pixel 2 XL, The update to 8.1 provides a much needed audio fix to the Pixel 2 XL, eliminating the garbled, underwater-like background noise when recording video. Android Oreo's logo is finally a proper Oreo. The Android system icon has also been updated from its three-circle design to one that looks more like an Oreo. The visual core chip on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL is now offered in developer options. It's a toggle labeled Camera Hell HDR+. This image processing unit enables HDR Plus to run faster, use less energy, and open itself up to other third-party camera apps. So I actually tried this with Instagram, taking one shot with Visual Core off, one with Visual Core on. And before you ask, yes, you'll need to restart your phone every time you switch it on or off. But in my limited testing, I only had one of my results that stood out. Better exposure, finer detail. Other shots though didn't show much of a difference and in some cases I had stability issues. Sometimes the pictures wouldn't take on Instagram and I had the app freeze and close on me. I'd imagine third party apps still have to fine tune the process so I'll be patient and wait. Wi-Fi speed labels is a feature that shows expected speeds under open public Wi-Fi networks. I've tried this personally with 8.1 but have yet to see it in the wild. If this has been popping up for you, let me know in the comments. The other speed labels include OK, Fast, and Very Fast. And finally, the burger emoji's been updated. Because who puts cheese underneath the patty? Well, I'm not opposed, especially if you can put another slice on top of the patty. And then wherever there's room for bacon. <laughs>